which claim about traffic congestion is supported by the graph. So we have to look at a graph for this. That's new. So let's just go to the choices and see what we can pick. So New York City commuters spend less time annually delayed by traffic congestion than the average for very large cities. Well, this graph shows us the uh, most congested cities in 2011. We see the very large city average is right here. Where is New York City? New York City is right here. It's higher than the average. This choice says that they spend less time than the average, which is not true. It is more than the average. So we'll get rid of A. B, Los Angeles commuters are delayed more hours annually by traffic congestion than our commuters in Washington, D.C. Well, here is Los Angeles. Here is Washington, D.C. So it turns out that Los Angeles is actually delayed by fewer hours than Washington, D.C. So we can get rid of B. Commuters in Washington, D.C. face greater delays annually due to traffic congestion than do commuters in New York City. Well, here's Washington, D.C. Here's New York City. So indeed, they spend more hours uh, in congestion. So we like choice C. What about D? Just to check all four choices. Commuters in Detroit spend more time delayed annually by traffic congestion than do commuters in Houston, Atlanta, and Chicago. So here's Detroit. And they spend more time delayed? No, they're at the bottom. And they are... Uh, below Houston, Atlanta, and Chicago. Right here's Atlanta, here's Houston, and Chicago. So no way. D doesn't work either. So the answer to this one is C. This is a new style question as well. So we're going to be focusing not just in the reading and in the writing, not just on the text, but also graphs and charts. So bringing in a little math, bringing in a little kind of science stuff, almost like the ACT a little bit. Uh, and this question is just reading a graph. I think it's pretty straightforward. We'll see how difficult these questions get in terms of interpreting the graph itself and uh, relating it back to the text. But this one wasn't that bad, right? Just read the graph, find the choice that fits, eliminate the other three, and you're all set. So we'll see how hard these get. My guess is that they probably won't be too difficult compared to the reading, but we'll see.